I got the inspiration from stand-up comedy. And as a stand-up comedian, he really dares to bring things out that no one else dares to talk about. I also don't want to make things heavy. Even serious topics do not need to be really heavy. So I want to kind of uh, bring a little bit of a lightness into that too. Systems create behavior. You can look it up anywhere. A bad system beats a good person anytime. And right now we're working with a bad system that's fighting against good people. Right now we've got another economic system that actually promotes non-sustainability and that creates poverty. There's a lot of initiatives that are being done to be more green, to be more sustainable, to be more supportive for communities, for societies, for for the small businessman. The thing is though that our economic system is designed in such a way that it creates hurdles. So we're swimming upstream. When we're trying to do good for the world, we're actually being hindered by an economic system that we have put in place ourselves. I do not see a problem in people wanting to get rich. I do see a problem in people getting rich on the back of others. And right now we got a system that actually keeps that in place. It's easy to get rich in the back of others. What if, you, if we create a system where everyone really finds something he loves to do and manages to make money out of that? What if, for example, charity would make you rich? What if helping others would make you rich? Right now, banking makes you rich, oil makes you rich, mining makes you rich. Charity work doesn't bring a lot of money to the table. Why can we not create an economical system that actually rewards good actions, that rewards adding value to our society? If you add value today, very often you're being punished economically. And in my opinion, that's wrong. We should turn it around. The key thing is that People have this tendency, a lot of people anyways, have a tendency to say like, well, there's nothing we can do about the big issues. There's, it's the people in power that dictate the way our lives are being run. And that's not true. It's we as a society have the power to change things in this world. It's the masses that hold the power. The people in power are only there because we allow them there. We allow them to be in power. If we all stand up, and that's also where the stand up, um, the stand up consultant and also the stand up society comes from, if we stand up and we voice what we really want and we, we unite as a, as a large group to push our opinions, to push what we really want in our society and say, this is the future we want, then we will make it happen.